the sun goes down, everything changes. Welcome to the darkness. Welcome back to another episode of Old Park Gaming and your OFG guide to the new arcade mode, Darkness of the Night. Two launches of the arcade cabinet Darkness of the Night event await you. A completely new experience on three familiar maps. And this OFG will look at two things. What is it? And why should I play it? I'll also add some gameplay highlights to give you an idea of what this new arcade mode is like. First, let's take a look at what it is. There are two launches, so check out the dates where Wargaming has transformed the battlefield into Night Ops. And they will only be on three maps, Lakeville, Sand River, and Glacier. The rules are pretty straightforward. 15 v 15, you can platoon, first battle multipliers work, your personal reserves work, and so on. But there are a few limitations you need to know about. Battles are limited to tier 8 and tier 10 only. You can't earn battle pass points, and you can't complete missions. But remember, this mode does not affect your stats, so have fun with it. So what are the modifiers? There is a list. But if you're like me, I'm not going to try and calculate out what 10 times the penalty to my camo value will be. So here's an OFG simple explanation. It's nighttime. So render range is weak. Your radio's crapping out. You can't see for shit. And if you fire your gun in the dark, every swinging Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to see your muzzle flash no matter what bush you're in. Play accordingly. So why should I play? The first thing, it doesn't affect your stats. The second, you can grab 400 easy bombs with just a few battles, and I even made credit. And in this OFG's opinion, there are three basic ways to play this mode. One, pub it. All I'm gonna say is I tried it and good luck with that option. Two, go mobile. Take advantage of the cover of night and ambush the crap out of unsuspecting tankers. Or three, go big or go home. Bring a big gun and pay attention to your mini-map. Use the limitations of this mode to take advantage of that high alpha. So don't forget... The results don't affect your statistics, so don't be afraid to experiment. Every battle brings you closer to the rewards in the arcade progression. Each of the two launches in June and July will have its own stages with rewards. And remember, it's dark out there. So watch your step. Let's get into some gameplay. Show you some highlights. First off, I'm going to take out my 140. And the first thing I noticed is the graphics and, and the visuals are amazing. I love this. Look at this. And the first thing I notice is my view range is gone. The render range doesn't look right. I, I'm going to take advantage of nighttime. So I'm going to head up to this rock and see if we can't punish some people. Oh, hello. Let's just get up here and farm some death. Oh, I'm seen. But it also says that you go dark faster. I'm wondering, get some more, will I reload in time, nope, oh, did you come back, seriously, can I get up there without getting shot, yeah, it's dark, let's take this guy, oh. back to the coffin for you, okay, we're going aggressive, let's go, they pushed up. See, now the enemy team pubbed it. You decided to... You didn't even see me coming, did you? Come on. Good night, Irene. They're all over on the heavy line. Don't pub it, guys. 
I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, bad idea. Use the nighttime as your friend. Come on. I should be top 12 with that. So remember, it's dark out there. Watch your step. Next up, I thought I'd try out a tier 8 mobile medium and then took the GSOR to Lakeville. And again, I the, the visuals are amazing. I love the way this looks. And the minimap tells me I've got no view range. If you pay attention to how limited the view range is, you can be pretty aggressive in a mobile tank with an autoloader. Good tip. It looks like they pubbed it and now they're all in a kill box. I just gotta try to get enough damage to be in the top to get my missions done. I'll be loaded. Should I go stop? No, there's only three left. We're gonna go in with the force. You know who I am. You don't know where I am. And you'll never see me coming. Never see me coming. Mandalorian reference. I'm gonna hold it. Take the hit until I know I can get a shot in. Come on. High shoulder, high shoulder. Nope. Come on, come on, come on. Green medical. Good night, Gracie. Back to the coffin for you. Pretty fun game. Next up, I decide to go big or go home. I take out my ship bone. Oh, short team. So if you need to be in the top 12, and there are only 11 on your team, all you need to do is win. And, and you're guaranteed to complete the mission. I'm lit. Six seconds, I go dark. Protect the little guy by the lake. Because he got lit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Owie, daddy. The bad man touched me. Oh, come on. Somebody kill him. Kill him. And as long as you keep him outside of your spotting circle, he's not going to see me. Oh, Death Star versus Ship Barn. Let's see who will win. And that sound means you fired. Green reticle. Ugh, 800. I wanted more. Back up, back up, back up, back up. He'll load before I do. You know, if as long as you don't high roll, I think I can take the shot. Let me try that. Ooh, I took it. Okay. Good night, sunshine. Well done. Let's take a look at the battle report and see if we made any credits. Firing all that gold. 42,000 in ammunition. And I still made 12 grand. So all in all, it's a fun mode, guys, and it doesn't affect your stats, and you can make credits and bonds. So be aware of the limitations. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.